Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. Today we're going to be pulling a few parts off of this 2002 GMC Sierra for a customer. We got to pull these exterior door handles off. In order to do that, you have to pull the interior door panel, a couple nuts and bolts, and disconnect the latching mechanism. I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we go. Well, here we go. Sometimes things don't go to plan. Uh, I already pulled off the driver side handle for whatever reason. My camera didn't record it. Fortunately, we have the passenger side here, so I'm going to show you the same process. It's exactly the same on both sides. So this is how you, you get that door handle off of there. The first thing I do is pull off my little plastic clips where I need to get them off of. So up here by your mirror, it's just held on with these two little clips. You pull out and it comes off. Your lock switch, pry at the back, pops right out. Your plastic surround around the door handle. Again, it's got some of those little clips. You just pry those out and then pull it out. And then the last thing you need to do up here before you start doing screws is pop your, your switch panel off. So get your screwdriver underneath the outside edge here, pull it up, and it pops right out. Unplug your electrical connectors, sit them down in there, and just sit your switch out of the way. Once you have those off of there, you have three seven millimeter bolts one right here behind that switch. One in here behind the door pull. And one down on the bottom of the door. Again, all three of those are seven millimeters. Once you have those out, you pull the door handle up. That should get it loose of its retainers and then out to undo your electrical connectors. So up and out. I find that one just sharp tug usually gets it loose. Then you disconnect your plug for your heated seats. You disconnect your plug for your speaker. And if your little reflector light is still plugged in, you unplug that as well. Sit the door panel over out of your way. And then you can peel your plastic back out of the way as well. Obviously, if this is your vehicle that you know, you're gonna continue to drive, you wanna try not to mess this plastic up because that's what helps keep wind out. Once you get that plastic out of the way, there's two 10 millimeter nuts up inside the door panel. The first one is right down by where the lock is on the door, on the handle outside. So you get your little 10 millimeter up in there, get it loose. Once you loosen it, you should be able to spin it the rest of the way off with your fingers. Second is up near the top front of the door handle. So you gotta reach your arm up in there. Again, once you get that loose, you should be able to spin the nut the rest of the way off with your fingers. And keep that in mind when you're putting these back on. Also, these don't need to be mega halt tight. Just want them snug and firm so they're gonna keep your door handle in place. There's that nut. And then the third one is over here under this little black cover. So use your screwdriver, apply your little cover off of there. And then you've got your third 10 millimeter right in there. You get that loose helps to have an extension for your little socket. So you use that, get your third little nut out of there. 
Try not to drop it down in the door. There we go. And then all you need to do is pull your handle out and disconnect your latch rod and your lock rod. So I'll try to get you where you can see. We've got one right here and these have these little plastic twist keepers like we saw the other day on the rear doors. So you just twist it and then the rod slides straight out of the back. Let me see if I can give you a better view for the other one here. There we go. So then you, again, take your little plastic retainer, twist it, and then the rod slides out just like so. And then you have your door handle. You can see from the back side where those three nuts are. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I ship these with the nuts on it, so the next person has them ready to go. But that's it for this one, guys. Here we go, everybody. So we've got our driver's side handle out, ready to go. Driver's side is marked with an L. We've got our passenger side handle marked out, ready to go. Passenger side is marked with an R. Uh, so I'm gonna get these boxed up and get them shipped out to the customer. Uh, he's super excited, I gave him a good price. They're gonna show up, he's gonna put them onto his, uh, he's actually got a, a Tahoe that he's putting them on. But that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, uh, if you just like to hear me chat, please give a like, follow, subscribe. If you have questions, please comment down below. I'll answer them as quickly as I can. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button at the bottom. Have a great day, everybody.